Michigan's VPN ban jeopardizes encryption, risks business migration, and increases legal complexities. Encryption practices that protect trade secrets, financial transactions, student records, medical data, and critical infrastructure management in, in that ha work every single day. Uh, and so in doing that, that's not going to lead to a good conclusion for Michigan. So if Michigan succeeds in normalizing VPN bans, uh, or VPN blocking mandates. In other words, I, I guess they put the ISPs in charge of detecting VPNs and then reporting you to the cops. Uh, if you do that, I'm not sure how it's going to be enforced. It sets the precedent for broader attacks on encryption channels in general, pushing businesses to move operations, data centers, and jobs out of the state to avoid legal and technical uncertainty around, you know, basic, you know, cloud connectivity. And the government never really understands this when they make something uh, that's going to be restrictive in a state. It's very easy to move out of the state, but definitely they'll move a state and businesses can shift headquarters and shift offices uh, fairly easy these days. And obviously many people are working remotely. So it's, you know, it's a matter of, uh, you know, putting different technical infrastructure around and how you're going to use this uh, with this law in place if it does pass. So, it's unintended consequences, but it's also not necessarily having foresight in the way that business are going to respond to this. Um, but at the end of the day, if you don't give them that option, they'll just leave. And and so your tax base won't be leaving the state because you guys are making the use of a core tool that we need to run a business, in this case, cloud computing, illegal. And people aren't going to have that.